Marcy Fiorillo's purse is much smaller today than it was a week ago. I can just have it always on me. I don't even take it off when I get in the car. When we met with her downtown Seattle, a much bigger city than she's used to, she was frustrated, almost lost. That's pretty low, and I just, I, I didn't realize that people could be like that. That something as dishonorable as a thief breaking into her car, stealing her purse, could happen in her quiet city. And that someone could smash a window and that we wouldn't hear that from where we were. At the Arlington Municipal Cemetery on Memorial Day. We weren't that far away. It was supposed to be a time of reflection, of their sacrifice and honor. We were all focused on the band playing the national anthem and then they were playing taps and stuff like that. So we were, and we were also turned facing the flag and, and the service that was going on. Marcy stood there alongside so many others with heavy hearts and a sense of profound gratitude to our fallen soldiers. Little did she know her patriotism would make her a target. Just disappointed that that would happen at the cemetery and kind of taint that whole experience. Marcy acted quickly, canceling her cards, hoping the suspect would be stopped in her tracks. She was denied when she tried to put $500 onto a prepaid gift card at a Fred Meyer store in Marysville. They didn't actually get anything from me. An even bigger blow may have been when she attempted to buy a box of Reese's Pieces candy, and you guessed it, was denied. I had no cash in there. Um, my credit cards were all declined. So now reeling with her own denial, Marcy digs, trying to understand how someone would do something so low, so dishonorable. Now I know that there's no day off for the thieves. There's no sacred space. There's no sacred place. Allie Bradley, Q13 News.